We're going to go in three, two, one. You might want to just step out of this because it's it's going to get ugly. While I am leaving, I'm, I, I'm going to England. I'm going on trial and, oh, okay, what club are you going to? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to Millwall. And this look on his face. <laughs> they kill people there. Mrs. Keller, I think it's time for you to leave now before we rip this stadium apart. I, I think it was Andy Roberts at one stage in that match who was completely stripped naked. There was three people pulling in this direction to get a sock off, three <laughs> pulling in this direction to get a, a sock off, and I think four people trying to pull my shorts back over my head. I mean, it, it must have been a, it, it, to me, it looked like a scene out of the Ten Commandments, and you had the Red Sea was closing in, and my first thought was, I'm just gonna lower a shoulder and just crush this guy. The next thing you know, Gavin McGuire comes riding a bicycle naked through the snow. And I remember just chasing him down and tackling him off the, uh, off the bike so he would be naked in the snow. Rhino's testimonial, Old Kent Road, Gin Palace. And yeah, it, it got a little ugly and I think the the BBC Derby realized that that maybe wasn't the smartest thing to drive their car down with all that logoing and park that in the parking lot. Um, yeah, I hope they were well insured. Things that truly mind boggling, mind boggling well, for a young American coming over. <laughs>